According to the Federal Reserve, if you have at least $400 saved for an unexpected emergency, you are already financially better off than one-third of Americans. It is well known that most people do a poor job of managing their finances, and there appear to be few people who are responsible with their money and have a good relationship with money. This does not necessarily imply being extremely wealthy or generating a large income. It simply implies that you make responsible choices, do not make reckless judgments on a regular basis, and are content with your income and expenses. What are some of the most prevalent causes of people going bankrupt, and how can you avoid them? Check it out so you can make sure you're not doing these money-losing blunders. Welcome to Cashflow Canvas, where we teach people about money, personal finance, and investing. If you're interested in improving your financial future, subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. Goals are the beginning point for all financial decisions you make. How are you going to raise your income? When you create financial goals, you're defining a destination for your future, which will then allow you to make decisions that will help you reach them, such as being debt-free. Debt-free in three years is a clear, brief goal that you can use to execute a plan to help you get there. If you want to double your income next year, what are some things you can start doing today to help you do it? If you don't want to be broke, the first thing you need to do is to set a goal of where you want to be financially and when you want to get there, whether it's saving $10,000, paying cash for a new car, or buying a new house. These goals all have a defined finish line. They don't prepare for emergencies because one-third of people don't have $400 on hand to cover an emergency. This is a clear problem because unexpected expenses are prevalent, and $400 isn't exactly a significant sum of money when it comes to this type of thing. The typical repair cost for a car is approximately $500 to $600 if you don't find a mechanic. If you don't have a method of preparing for financial emergencies, you're setting yourself up for disaster. What if you lose your job? What if you require dental work? If you're not prepared for a common $400 unexpected bill, you'll be compelled to fund it in other ways, such as incurring credit card debt. When you're being charged excessively high interest rates, it'll be difficult to pay off the loan. One of the primary reasons people are broke is that they do not live on a budget. According to the United States Bank, the difficulty is that only roughly 41% of Americans stick to a budget. It is very impossible to determine how much money you spend on various categories unless you track your income and expenses. If you've ever been paid, made a few purchases, and then found yourself wondering where all the money has gone, you'll understand why this is so crucial. Budgeting may have a negative connotation due to the thought that putting your income and all expenses on a spreadsheet can be an uncomfortable exercise, but it can be a powerful exercise, especially for those who are trying to take control of their finances. One of the most common excuses people have for their poor financial situation is that they want to spend money and they don't want to save money. Enjoy life now rather than saving till they are too elderly to enjoy their money. It's reasonable that some individuals don't want to pinch every cent until they're in their 50s, 60s, or even 70s. It doesn't make sense to forego your younger years planning for a potentially extravagant retirement. But it's critical to achieve the proper mix between planning ahead and having fun. Most people would agree that the right balance would include making decisions that will benefit you in the future and spending money that allows you to have fun now. Rich people aren't the only ones who have expensive habits. Poor people have many expensive habits as well, which is one of the things blocking them from moving ahead. Smoking is one example of a costly habit that costs more money than people realize. If a smoker consumes one pack of cigarettes each day at a cost of $7 per pack, that's more than $200 per month. How many smokers would claim that they can't invest $200 per month for their future because they don't have enough money? Another expensive habit is eating out on a regular basis. This isn't just grabbing a bite out a few times per month. It's eating out on a regular basis, sometimes more than once per week. People think nothing of spending $50 on a meal, but then claim that they don't have any money. $50 here, and there isn't a big deal. But if you're living paycheck to paycheck, Avoiding an expense like this on a regular basis, say two, three, or four times per week can be beneficial. They are in debt. Not all debt is created equal. There are generally two types of debt. Good debt, which is money borrowed to help you make money, such as a mortgage on a rental property and bad debt, which is what most people think of acquiring depreciating assets. These are items such as cars, clothing, vacations, and most items purchased with credit cards. 
When using bad debt, you are not only charged interest instead of earning it, but the items depreciate and have little to no residual value. Furthermore, debt allows people to make purchases they cannot afford and do not have the money for. For example, someone wants to buy a new car and decides to finance it because they can't afford to pay cash. They're now paying interest to the lender. The car is depreciating rapidly and it was out of their budget in the first place, implying that it's too much for them. Rich people earn interest, poor people pay it. They spend money to impress people. As Dave Ramsey says, most people buy things they don't need with money they don't have to impress people they don't like. He goes on to say that nothing will get you broke faster than trying to impress others. Many people make purchases to show off to others because they believe that if they look rich, others will be envious and impressed by their success. The problem is that you may feel a sense of satisfaction when making a large purchase to look good, but that feeling will be short-lived. This is a losing battle and the financial setback for this false sense of fulfillment usually isn't worth it. They don't pay themselves first aside from making responsible spending decisions. One of the simplest ways to improve is to pay yourself first. Something even the poorest people fail to do when attempting to get ahead, it is critical to recognize that building wealth through savings alone is practically impossible. You must continually put your money to work over a long period of time. Taking a portion of each paycheck and directing it towards investing is a simple and painless method to get started. To invest automatically, you're less likely to miss the money, and you don't have to make the decision to invest on a regular basis. If that money sits in your account, burning a hole in your pocket, you'll feel wealthier than you are, and it could eventually be spent on various items, the majority of which you can't even afford. Remember what they were when faced with the choice of whether or not to invest every week you're much less likely to choose to invest the reason most people are broke is that they make poor financial decisions with their money, not just in some areas, but typically in many. There are obviously exceptions, but if you analyses the typical broke person's behavior, you would discover this to be true. The good news is that almost everybody can improve their condition to the point where they are comfortable.